Buenos dias and hello. Today we are going to be trying to get to Honduras. And right now we are in Livingston, Guatemala, off the Caribbean coast of Guatemala. And we're gonna be taking a boat, we're gonna be taking buses, probably more buses, maybe a helicopter. Actually, hopefully not a helicopter. If I'm taking a helicopter on this trip, things have gone seriously wrong. But we have a busy day. I think it's gonna take all day long. We're taking the uh, local transport. So we're doing boats from here, all local, no tourism stuff. You know, there's a, a simple way to get to Honduras and that's paying a, a lot of money to take a tour bus. I think it's almost $100 maybe. But we're doing it the local way. We're taking the cheaper route because we're on a budget. We can't afford this. And so uh, I need to take the chicken buses, local boats, whatever it is. Let's go. Buenos dias. Buenos dias, Puerto Barrios. De aquí. Puerto Barrios. Sí. ¿Cuánto cuesta? 50 por persona. 50. Perfecto. We've got our ticket for the first boat. And uh, how it works is there's no time when it leaves. It only leaves when there's enough people to go. So we have to get to 14 people for this boat ride to leave. And I think I was the sixth or seventh person. So I don't know how long it'll be, maybe uh, 10, 20 minutes or so before the boat ride leaves, or it could be an hour, who knows. Maybe we'll get a little bit of uh, food before we go. I haven't had any breakfast, so it looks like there's a nice lady cooking something up. Maybe we can uh, get something from her. Buenos dias, como estas? ¿Quieres pollo? Sí. ¿Para de ese o no? Sí. Hay de pollo, hay de huevos. ¿Ese chicken? Eh, ese chicken. Con beef. Um, huevos con con pollo, huevos con pollo. Vale, está muy bien, pasa adelante este lado. ¿Cuánto cuesta esto? Eh, huevos con pollo le salería en 35. Ajá. Porque lleva dos huevos, lleva pollo, lleva pasta, lleva frijoles y tú una tortilla de harina. Ok, ok. Ok, un momento, un momento. Si quieres solo huevo, vale 20. Gracias. I just realized I only really have enough cash to take the bus rides. This might actually be a big problem. I only have enough cash to go by buses through. Yeah, so what I have is I have 230 quetzal, and I know the bus ride to uh, the border is going to be around 100 or something like this. And my, uh, my boat ride was 50, so I have 230 left. I have to see what I can spend my money on, because I don't want to go to the ATM and take out more money, because it costs about 5 or $6 every time you withdraw money here. So I don't know if I can get breakfast yet. Maybe I'll wait until after the boat ride and see how much the bus ride is and then we can get some food. But for now, I guess I'm just gonna have to wait. I completely forgot that uh, I have a limited amount of cash. So sorry to that lady, but I'm not gonna be able to get any food from her until I know how much the bus is to the border. Oh well. All right, the boat is loaded up. It's been about half an hour and the boat is ready to go to Puerto Barrio. I think it should be a pretty quick trip. Puerto Barrio, senor. There you go. Estoy muy grande. Uf, más asado. <laughs> Puerto Barrios. Now this is where things get a little bit uh, tricky, I guess, because we're going to Honduras and I have no idea which bus we're taking. This is where my research kind of stops. But I know that there is a, a bus, I think, uh, towards the main way. There's always a bus. 
and uh, hopefully we'll be able to find it going to Honduras. It should be from here, maybe an hour or two to the border. It's really not that far. Uh, maybe I'll show you on a map or something so you can see. But we'll walk in town, maybe a few blocks till we get to a busy section that we can start asking people uh, where we go to get to Honduras on the chicken bus. And hopefully we have enough money. I have 200 quetzales and that's it. So hopefully that can get us to the border. We'll see how much it costs. Hola, señor. Voy a Honduras. Donde está el bus? ¿Se puede caminar, me O pasar donde está el vehículo que pasó para adentro, eh? Para ir al mercado. Sí, ok. Ahí pasa. ¿Mercado? Mercado, para adentro. Ok. ¿Dos más? Primero y segunda, directo. Ok, gracias. Yeah, a few roads up and to the left, I guess there's a market where the buses will stop to pick you up, according to him. He looks pretty trustworthy, so I think I'll believe him. Okay, so I guess this is the main road here. And if we walk down a little bit, we'll get to a Mercado. Or uh, buses going to Honduras. Hola, señor. Voy a Honduras. The bus uh, Honduras? Aquí? No. Bus para Honduras? ¿Cómo se quiere? Sí. Camioneta. Honduras? ¿Allá? Ok, gracias, señor. Ok. I think we're on the right road. He's pointing ahead here. Ok, I think just ahead here is the buses to the frontera. There's a bunch of uh, them lined up, so let's see if we can catch one. I don't know how regularly they go, but I imagine pretty regular. Yeah, this is definitely going to be where we'll catch a bus. That was not too bad, maybe like a 5-10 minute walk from the boat. Oh, I'm a little, a little fat for that one. Hola. Eh, una pregunta, ¿este para la frontera? La, la frontera que hay allá. Uh, yeah? Okay, ¿cuántos minutos? ¿Cuántos minutos? Voy a... ¿Dos minutos? Para, para el bus. Para... Sí. Ah, no, ahí es nomás. Oh, okay, okay, gracias. So those buses were a no, but maybe one up ahead here. Oh, sorry. Got a little busy, a little traffic. Getting towards the market. Uh, you just kind of point it down this way. Oh, maybe it's over here. We'll see. All right, it's a little bit chaotic over here. As you do with markets, they get a little chaotic. So there's more buses up ahead in front here. Oh, that's a uh, Tucoban. Ah, let me see. Let me see, let me see. Hola, una pregunta, por favor. Uh, ¿Dónde está el bus a la frontera? ¿Conoces? La frontera? Is it here? No. It's for there. For there? Yes. But I have to take a bus. Here? Okay. Okay. Alright, thank you. I have no idea. I'm getting mixed messages here. I don't know, I gotta ask someone like this. Hola, señor. Uh, voy a la frontera, a Honduras. ¿Dónde está la paz? ¿Allá? Ok, gracias. ¿Aquí? So, ¿Voy a ir aquí? ¿Allá? ¿Allá o aquí? You go the one block to the corner. Yes? yes. And it goes this way? No, no, no. Yes. Ok, gracias. Okay, I don't think that girl gave me the right directions. But uh, this older gentleman just said right up here on the corner is the bus. So we will see. I've been getting jerked around a little bit, but that's okay. Things are a little bit confusing when you aren't completely fluent in Spanish. Well, we got lots of time, so let's see actually what time it is. It's only nine o'clock. And I think we can get to San Pedro in Honduras before like three or four in the afternoon. That's the goal, because that's where we're going to be staying tonight. Hola, señor. 
Oh, he's not a senor. He got more. Oh, yeah. All right, let's see if we can get there. La Frontera. Honduras? Yeah. Okay, perfecto. Pasa adelante, Frontera, Honduras. Sí, Frontera. frontera ¿Cuánto Honduras? cuesta esto la Frontera? 25. 25, perfecto, ok. ¿Qué, qué tiempo uh, Ahorita vamos? Ahorita vamos, pasa adelante, necesito. ¿En 10 minutos, 5 minutos? Un minuto, dos minutos. Bueno, ¿Cómo es uh, Necesito agua. Ah, ok. ¿Aquí? Ok, perfecto. Gotta get some water oh, before amigo, we go. Oh, Coca -Cola, amigo. <laughs> you like the Coca Cola? <laughs> oh, you like it, Coca Cola, my friend? Ah, of course. Like More of a Coke Zero guy, but that's okay. Hola, señor. Wow. <sighs> no Coca Cola, pura gallo. No Coca Cola. <laughs> Agua, por favor. And maybe a snack. And maybe we get some takis. Solo, por favor. Oh, no. Dale, this will dale, be our dale, breakfast. Dale, dale. Okay, muchas gracias. ¿Cuánto cuesta para eso? Eh, 6.5, 11. 11. Alright. Chao, chao. Bye. Bye. See you in Honduras. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Alright, we're going to the border now. We got a nice little bus. I think it should be pretty quick. Maybe we can ask how long. Señor, okay. ¿cuánto tiempo a la frontera? ¿Cuántos minutos? Como, como diez y medio hasta allá. ¿Cuántos? Diez y medio. Diez y medio? Ah, okay. No problema. So it's like an hour and a half, just about. I'm sweating bullets, man. It's hot here in the coast. The Caribbean coast of Guatemala is so hot. Well, let's get to the border. Let's see what we can do. Guatemala. Gotta have my well balanced breakfast. Nothing like Takis. They got everything. They got fruits, vegetables, see? Uh, a little protein, some calories in there. This is the healthiest breakfast. Better than all that stuff people are peddling these days. We're here. I think we go get our passport stamped and then we get back on the bus maybe. Yes, listo. La frontera. Okay. Alright, we made it to the border. I don't know if I'll be able to film as I go across it, but I'm gonna try. Looks like just a bunch of trucks. Typical border shenanigans. Maybe uh maybe I can buy some food actually. I think I might have a little bit more quetzal left than I thought. Para la frontera, Honduras, allá. Okay. All right, I guess we're here. Oh, we got to get our passports stamped over there on the Guatemalan side. And then I think we pass through the official border. And that's when we'll be in Honduras and we'll get our passports stamped again to go into Honduras. Now that's how borders typically work. I have no idea what this border is like. I know the borders in Central America are a little bit more loosey-goosey. You know, there's a lot of ways that you can get around the borders. Heck, you can pay someone to go get your passport stamped on the Guatemalan border if you want to extend your visa. There's a lot of ways you can get around borders here in Central America. I mean, in all over the world really. I mean, the US has a pretty bad border right now as well. But I think it should be pretty easy. Hopefully I don't have to pay anything. If I do, I might have to, I have a little extra 20 uh, US dollars maybe. Hopefully that'll be enough. But here we are, let's see what it is. I'm like 60% sure I brought my passport. So that's pretty good odds. I have my passport. I don't know why I had it at the bottom of my bag, but at least I have it, that's, that's important. Buenos dias. Voy a Honduras. Ajar. All right, we got our stamp. Para Honduras. Para Honduras. Honduras. Ya mar ya marcó su salida de Guatemala. Salida sí, sí, sí. 
Wow, that's literally just like that. Okay. The round, bro. The round. Yep. ¿Cuándo ingresó a Guatemala, Iván? Uh, no entiendo. Disculpe. 23, 23 de febrero. Sí. Sí. ¿Venía de dónde venía? ¿Antes de Guatemala? ¿Antes de Guatemala? Ah. El Salvador. El Salvador. ¿O antes? Eh, ¿O before? Oh, primero es eh, Estados Unidos. Primero Guatemala es Estados Unidos. Antes, antes. Eh, antes de Guatemala. Ya, yeah, antes. ¿De dónde es, tiene el ticket del vuelo? Para. ¿El itinerario del vuelo? El ticket en línea no lo tiene en el teléfono. Para, Guatem para sí, Honduras. Para ver el vuelo de, de Estados Unidos a Guatemala. Sí. Primero Guatemala es Estados Unidos. Antes, antes Guatemala es Estados Unidos. Después Honduras es El Salvador. Pero no tiene sello. Es la primera vez que ingresa a Honduras, ¿verdad? ¿Qué? Primera vez que ingresa a Honduras. Primero a Honduras, sí. Ok, necesito ver lo de el, el ticket del vuelo de Estados Unidos a Guatemala. Ok. I think you need, you need my airplane ticket from Estados Unidos to Guatemala. ¿Te ¿Eso? Este día usted ingresó a la región, a la región CA4. Ingresó este día. Entonces le otorgaron 90 días. Sí. Ok. Guatemala se los otorgó los 90 días. 90. Ok. Sí. De los cuales ya lleva 28 días. Lleva un mes en Guatemala, ¿verdad? Ok. Le quedan, le restan 62 días para entrar en la región todavía. La región sea 4 son Nicaragua, El Salvador, Costa, sí. Guatemala. Sí. Entonces, esos 64 días le sirven para andar en la región. Ok. En los cuatro países. Eh, ese es el tiempo de estaría para andar en los cuatro países. No, no, no entiendo. Eh, entiendo, mi español es malo, entiendo un poco, pero, pero eh, bueno, necesito... Tiene 62 días todavía para estar en Honduras, o puede ir a El Salvador, a Nicaragua, sí, sí. en esos 62 días. Sí. Antes de que se vayan a vencer los 62 días, usted debe de salir de la región. Sí, porque eso, you have to leave after 90 días. Ajá, correcto, 90. De los cuales, ya solo tiene 62. Sí, sí. ¿verdad? Estuvo en Guatemala, 28 días estuvo en Guatemala. 28 en ah, Guatemala, so, pero en, en Honduras... ¿Cuánto va a estar? Ok. ¿Cuánto tiempo va a estar en Honduras? Ah, dos semanas. Dos semanas. Dos semanas, hasta dos semanas, y then, uh, sí. Aproximadamente, Evan, aproximadamente son dos meses lo que tiene usted. Sí. Sí, va, 62 sí. días son dos meses. Sí, aproximadamente. Dos, dos meses, sí. Una foto le vamos a tomar, mire la cámara. Ahí está. Perfecto, gracias. Gracias. All right, we made it through the border. It's quite easy. It took about 10 minutes. Now there was definitely some, uh, well, language barriers going on there. He was asking me how long I was going to be in Honduras, but I didn't understand that he was telling me that Honduras, Guatemala, and El Salvador all have the same visa that you can only be in these three countries for 90 days and Nicaragua as well. So I can only be, I've already spent almost 30 days in Guatemala, so I only have about 60 days left for, uh, for the other countries. Obviously I'm not gonna be here that long, but he kept trying to tell me this and I didn't understand what he was saying. And I was like, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? So I didn't understand, but we got it all cleared up. So I have about 60 days left if I wanna go through uh, El Salvador, Nicaragua, all those places, but uh, I mean, we'll see. All right, well, the bus that goes directly to San Pedro doesn't come for another hour and a half. And I really don't feel like waiting that long. That seems like a bit much. So I'm gonna try and hop on the bus to Puerto Cortes. Comes every half hour, I guess, from over here. And uh, yeah, this has been a pretty easy, easy border crossing, to be honest. It hasn't been too complicated and I think I can just walk across up here. Maybe someone will check my passport stamps, I don't know. Necesito? So, uh, voy a Puerto Cortes. Okay. okay, gracias. ¿Qué tal, amigo? Vamos a San Pedro, pero Puerto Cortes. Puerto Cortes, San Pedro. Sí. Okay, ¿qué tiempo? Faltan 50 minutos. ¿50 minutos? Sí. 50 es mucho tiempo. No, me poquito porque voy directo. ¿Directo? 
Pero no directo, o sea, Puerto Cortés. Cortés y después agarra el que va para San Pedro en el cruce, en la línea. Ok. ¿Te, te, ¿Qué sales aquí? Va a cambiar que sales. ¿Tienes que sales? ¿Tengo que sales? Tiene que sales. Eh, le voy a conseguir un campeón. Hola amigo. ¿Todo bien tú? Sí, necesito. Vaya. ¿Son para 100? Sí, que sale. Sí, ¿cuánto, ¿cuántos eh, lempiras? 305 lempiras. 100 que sales por 3.05 igual 305. Ok, Listo. está bien. Solo 100. Actually, uh, 200, 200. 200. 200 está bien. 610 lempiras. 610 Ok, perfecto Gracias, señor We sorted that out We got some money And we got a uh, Bus ride to San Pedro Leaving at 11.30 Honestly, I think it's the same bus that that guy Was telling me about It's gonna probably leave around noon anyway And we're on uh, Central American time, so who knows exactly When it's gonna leave Pesado, ¿no? Sí, hay. Ok, ya, yes. yo tengo. Pollo asado, por favor. Pollo asado, le trae arrocito con frijoles, chimol, papa asada, tortilla. Sí, tortilla, tortilla, toro. Sí, todo? frijoles. ¿cuál, ¿Cuál es tu favorito? ¿Ah? ¿Cuál es tu favorito? Pollo con. Eh, es un asado hoy. Sí, ok. Okay. Aquí hay pollo, costilla y carne. Y yep, sí, pollo. Sí, pollito asado. Con tortilla en... ¿Cómo lo es? Este es la carne. Lo estoy poniendo ahorita asado. Ah, sal. ok, ok, claro, sí. claro. Ahorita entonces la servimos. Ok. Ok, perfecto. ¿Todo bien? Sí, ya vamos a servir. Ok, gracias. I'll do seven up. Siete up. Siete up, por favor. Vaya, ah, Ok, gracias. Hola. ¿Cómo te llamas? Yo. Yo. Mariela. Mariela. Sí. ¿Tú? Su lady. Su lady. Ok. Buenas tardes. Ah, we'll get some food at the border here. Está muy peor, ¿no? Sí. Ay, ay, ay. Estamos en el mero verano ya. I'm gonna have to put my hat on here in a second. Sí. It's so hot. All right, we'll get some food. Ok, I need some uh, Wi-Fi so that I can book a place in San Pedro. I didn't know if I'd make it this far, so I didn't want to book anything. So I'll see if this place has Wi-Fi. The restaurant I'm at does not have Wi-Fi. Maybe they do. Hola, señor. ¿Cómo estás? Uh, necesito Wi-Fi para mi reserva en San Pedro. Es posible yo tengo tu Wi-Fi. Te voy a compartir yo mismo. Ah, okay, okay. Okay, perfecto. Muchas gracias. Okay, I've got a place booked for the weekend in San Pedro. This is my delicious lunch. Gracias. <laughs> okay, I'll eat this and then hopefully we can just get on the bus and we can get in San Pedro in maybe a couple hours. Uh, we'll probably be there around like two or three. But I'm gonna eat first. I got some Wi-Fi from the neighbors. They've been very nice. So far, hospitality in uh, Honduras, excelente. So this is really good. This is just a typical pollo asado. So, but they have these like um, banana chips that I've never seen with some like uh, sauce on it. Oh, it's like a mayonnaise or something. And then I've never seen something like this. I guess it's just a big leak. Yeah, okay, that's pretty good. And then I asked her, I said I wanted a little bit of extra spice in mine. So she gave me a, a cooked uh, jalapeno. Oh yeah. Picante, está bien. The chicken's really good. It's like a barbecue chicken, some sort of barbecue sauce on there. Very good first meal in Honduras. Ooh, that jalapeno's kicking in a little bit. That's nice. Oh, that's perfect. <clears throat> okay, lunch is done. It was very good. Muchas gracias. Adios, adios, ciao. Those are my first, first subscribers from Honduras. 
They obviously saw me filming and they wanted to know the channel. So if you're from Honduras, please subscribe to the channel. Those are my first Honduran subscribers and they're awesome. Really, really nice. Told me as much as they could about Honduras with my broken Spanish, but really good people, really nice. Now we gotta take our bus to go to San Pedro. So far, Honduras has been quite, quite nice. Very hospitable, good people. So we actually have to change here and uh, where are we? Cortez, I think? To San Pedro over here. San Pedro, si. Okay, let's go, vamos. Okay, this is chaotic. Going to San Pedro? Yeah? For San Pedro? San Pedro? Oy, oy, oy. Oh, this is tight. Yeah. Very full. <laughs> Very full. Okay. Todo bien. Todo bien. Como te llamas? Bien. ¿Qué comemos? Ya voy, sí. Wame? Si. Ove, ok. Mi amo Evan. Yeah. Nice to meet you. ¿Qué? Yeah, la usa. ¿Qué? Viene a bañar aquí. Si, sí, si. Sí. No. no voy a San Pedro. Si. Sí. Me out. Como te llamas? Maria de Jesus. Maria de Jesus. Zamora. 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 Sa. Sa. Mora. Mora. Oh, she's great. She's a character on the bus. Made quick friends. You speak Italian, French, and English? Uh, English leader. Germany, I speak German leader, Italiana, Francois. Okay. Yeah, she speaks a little bit of everything. Yeah. So she's gonna help me get to where I need to go. Don't run over my grandma, please. You know where we are going? Autobus. Yes. Okay, and do you know where I'm going? For my house, for my sister. I'm going to Juan Lindo Hostel. See? I'm going to Juan Lindo. Juan Lindo. Juan Lindo. I don't know. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Where, am I, where are you taking me? I have to go to my for hostel. The, for the telephone, you know, understand too much. So I, I have to go to Juan Linda, which is like, one moment, one moment. Lindo, so. Juan Lindo. Let's figure this out. Um, El Zapotol del Norte. See, si. El Zapotol del Zapotal Norte. Zapotal del Norte. Zapotal del Norte. Zapotal. See, si, Zapotal del Norte. Vamos. Okay. I don't know if she knows where I'm going, but this is going to be fun, I guess. Okay, I guess, well, if I can't get to my hostel, then I have to stay at your house. You go for a, um... Where do you go? Zapotal. Del Norte. Oh. 
Yeah, Zapotel del Norte. Where do you go? Zapotel del Norte. Zapotel del Norte. Permítame, caballero. Es que yo no entiendo la yo en esta tecnología no entiendo. Para que le diga a él. Can you help me? Es que él quiere ir a Zapotal, Zapotal del Norte, acá, verdad. Going to. ¿Dónde es Zapotal del Norte? Ponga ahí en el en el teléfono. Sí, sí. Sí. Sí, ponen ahí que la va a decir. Es que Guamillito queda para allá. Por ahí pasa la ruta 2. ¿Dónde pega visto? ¿Puedo poner el zapotal del norte? Pues sí, aquí está. Ajá. ¿Para el zapotal para usted? Sí. Bueno, entonces, ¿qué? Juan Lindo. Juan Lindo Hostel. Ah, la colonia Juan Lindo. Ajá. Juan Lindo. Ah, la colonia. Por house. No sé. <laughs> ¿Conoces? No. ¿No? Is there a bus or no? Or? No, pero no le pones el mapa ahí, él va a llegar. Pero el taxi, ¿cuánto cuesta por un taxi? Por 15, por 15 minutos. Hay 10 dólares. No, un taxista lo lleva barato. Sí, mira, ve, aquí arriba. Yo veo los taxistas que están ahí. Vamos, por taxi. Come on. Ok. I guess we might just have to take a taxi. Are you gonna show me? Come, come at the Amas. Bella. Bella. Okay. Bella. Me llamo Evan. Pasa, vaya barrábanos. ¿Eres de aquí? Sí, aquí. Sí, okay. ¿No es tu familia? Sí. Ah, okay. All right, I've got all generations helping me out. This is great. I've got a grandma. How old are you? ¿Cuántos años? Yo. ¿Y sí? 17. 17. 17. Ok. ¿Por cuánto lo llevas? Ok, uh, we got a taxi man. ¿Aquí por el Catarino? ¿Aquí por el Catarino? Sí, para Juan Lindo. La colonia Juan Lindo. ¿Y el Zapotal? Sí, el Zapotal. Por el Zapotal es. ¿Zapotal es? Sí, pero la colonia Juan Lindo, yo no conozco ninguna colonia que ella me... No, no es Juan Lindo, no es Juan Lindo, es Zapotal. Ah, bueno. Zapotal, Juan Lindo, ¿eh? Sí. Sí, sí. Eh. Hay un río ahí. Río. Swim. Swim. Yeah. What do you mean? Río. The river. Ah, uh, sí, sí. Sí, the river? The río? Ahí está el río. I'm going up uh, aquí, mi hostel, mi hotel. 200 lem. 200? Yeah, lem. Yeah, uh, let me see if I even have this. Hold on one second. I need to see if I have it. My ah, wallet. Bueno. I don't know if I have 200. Ay, come on. Un momento, un momento. I no momento. go, me no go. <laughs> I need to earn more money this year. 10, 20. 50. Oh, yeah, shit, okay, okay, yeah. I have, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, for 200, está bien. Gracias. Me lo llevaron de... Muchas gracias. Oiga. Gracias. Porque el Ben viene con Muchas gracias. Okay. ok. Ok, bye bye. Muchas gracias. Gracias, gracias. Okay. Oh, ok, gracias, señor. Wow, I almost never take taxis when I first get to a new city. But it's so bloody hot. And it's only going to be, I think, like $8 or something. So funny, I had a grandma helping me out. I had a, a young girl helping me out. All generations, I expect next a baby to come and help me. Oof. Un momento. Sí. There you are. Bueno. Gracias. Hola, Juan Lindo. Sí. Ah, okay, perfecto. Gracias, we made it. Todo día. From Guatemala. Oh, por Omoa, por sí. el mar. Sí. Hola. Mucho gusto, Juan. Evan. All right, we're here. Not so bad. No, no, no. <laughs> it's, it, this is the, the rich part of the city. 
Oh yeah. Uh, it's it's pretty used used to be pretty quiet place. Oh, okay. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you, thank you. And it's kind of complete. Uh, there's a TV. We have internet. Over here you have a stove. Okay. You can cook. You have uh, cooking tools. Okay. Okay. Perfect. You want to see outside? Sure. Maybe I put my bags away first. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Been carrying them all day long. <laughs> all day, no worries. Okay, you book for share room two days. Yeah, right? two nights, okay. yeah. This is the room. Welcome. Oh, you can wow. grab the key, close the door, and everything you need. I think okay. this will be only for you tonight because I don't have more reservations. Oh, okay. Same price. Perfect, perfect. Okay. All right, look at this. Yeah, I guess I got it all to myself. All right, well, we made it. <laughs> this is gonna be an interesting place to say the least, but at least it looks nice. Look at that. All right, we're here. Got a busy day tomorrow.